Hello there everyone and thank you for rejoining me here in episode 3 of us playing TNO, the East is Red mod for, of course, TNO. I'm your host, Mr. Mao Zedong Lover, but we gotta talk about inside the wall. This long dark corridor emitted the heavy clang of the cell door. Ma Jiyuan, come out! The guard of the gun called out from inside the cell. Out of the words, a tired figure accompanied by the clattering shackles slowly came out. Although wearing a clean prison uniform, his face and body were also cleaned by the jailer, but... Uh, he couldn't be covered the slightly bleeding ankles and wrists. Today, the former leader of the Ma's army will be put on the execution grounds. Still missing the last formalities. Due to the unique identity of the prisoner, the local officer needs to identify the prisoner before the execution. Ma Jiyan was taken to the waiting room and brought before the chief. Looking at the well-dressed PLA officer, he said with a non-emotion, We have interrogated him. Why do you need to identify him again? Just carry out the execution. The officer ignored him, but held his glasses and swept the files on the table one by one then, looked up at Ma Jiyan, who was drained of all color, who was drained of all color, and let a long sigh, General Ma. You have a national grudge and a family grudge all in one, but the communists have no grudge against you, so why can't we fight the Japanese together? You guys, the communists crush our religious faith. How can I sit idly by? I have compelling reasons to explain the above misunderstanding to you, but let me make clear the Central Committee's meeting before him. After saying that the officer gave him a document to him, we sincerely hope to be friends with General Mom. As long as you can sign this letter of repentance, we promise to restore all your reputation and you can also become general again. The guard handed a pen to Ma Jian, and an eagerness flashed in the officer's eyes. Sign it. Ma Jian ignored the cell and focused his eyes on the word repentance. Only word pierced deeply into his brain, making him spurt fire from his eyes. The secretary next to the officer, seeing Ma Jian Dae, stood up and said, General Ma, don't hesitate. This is a chance for you to change your ways. In Allah's view, China could only be saved without the communists and the Japanese, and everything he did was by Allah's will and the people's hearts. Ma Jian did not even think about reconciliation, let alone a repentance of his sins. He held his high, old high, head high, and willingly gave up his life for the jihad to save China. In this situation, the officer had to sigh and wave his hand to indicate that the guard would push him out. The cell fell into a long silence and time slowly passed and waiting with torture. A shot, all in the end. Solve the problem. A Xinjiang civil war? Recently, our comrades and friends in Xinjiang have warned us that Shang Shikai and the East Turkestan elements in Xinjiang seem to be stirring in sec secretly in secret war. While we've just finished dealing with the Zuma rebellion and the Mongolian storm at this time, our base forces are impoverished and weak. But we have stuff to do something. Wrote home, 1962, Jiyan. From town to town, doctors from the 301 hospital would arrange by their organization to go with other cities, two other cities in the base area, for medical visits, and this time, it was Yang Yingkai and Li Ni who won the lottery and the destination was very far away from Xi'an, Lanzhou. When she learned that Li Ni had won the lottery to go to Lanzhou, her parents' reaction opened Lang, uh, Yang Yingkai's eyes. Mao Zedong wrote a letter of congratulations and asked Li Ni to follow her teacher to learn her skills. Jiang Qing did nothing and didn't even bother to come to the hospital, but this doesn't mean that Jiang Qing didn't care about her daughter's affairs. The director of the hospital and other people were interviewed once to the fact that all, all, all the program is dead, people are alive, Carmen Li Ni went to Lanzhou in case there is a long and short hospital up and down not good for the party central committee, Chairman Mao to explain. The day of departure is getting closer and closer. Yang Yingkai knows clearly in her heart and no matter how others imply how to block herself, or block her, the decision of this trip to Lang Zhao was be Li Ni herself. She came to the hospital just to platinum or does she want to treat the people? Y Yang Yingkai did not know, she decided to leave the matter unattended, but also the last test of her ideas about Li Ni. Finally, the red-faced Li Ni pushed open the door of Yang Yingkai's room one day before departure. Teacher Yang, they are too much. How can the organization's procedures be overturned? Why can't I go into Lang Zhu? Yang Yingkai's face had no ripples, but in her heart, she secretly let out a long breath. You didn't disgrace your father after all. You were qualified. She patted the hospital bed, signaling Li Ni to sit here. This is risky. I heard that the Hui people are fierce. Fierce in what, Miss Yang? You did not feel fierce when you came to Jian alone back then? Li Ni interrupted her with a huff. Yang Yin Kai stretched his head. It's not that. I, I don't have the idea of stopping you by this time. Going is not a, a public food and drink. The martial law has just been ended. One is the, is the security is poor, and the second is a heavy task. Heavy task was right, Dad said. Why not young people to go to the front where it's most needed to serve the people? Li Ni's eyes cannot be doubted. Seeing this, Yang Yin Kai nodded approvingly. No longer hiding her thoughts, it's good that you can think like this. We leave on the train first thing in the morning. Cool. So right now, we're kind of hanging out. And uh, Redemption Land, I don't, I, I don't want to hurt our redemption. I don't want to hurt the poverty. So I think we're just going to stick to the right side. I don't remember what I did last time. So, popular procedure of the independence has been increased once stack. Because I'm pretty sure I did this one last time, so we're going to go with fourth reform. The peasants use a the theory of karma to explain what the dictatorship of the proletariat is, but it's doubtful whether this is scientific. Moreover, our local cadres were happy to follow the public opinion to mobilize the poor peasants to fight against the landlords and not set the standard of land distribution according to the local conditions, so it's inevitable that mistakes would occur. There's a little more political power, but what else is new? Deny Allah, instead of ineffectual remedy. The Ma, Ma's army rebellion is a lesson from the past. You can't use brute force to change people's minds. Instead, we did a lot of persuasive and educational work with the Muslims. We do not deny good qualities, nor do we discourage the faithful from seeking a better life, but instead we make people realize the reactionary nature of the religion. That's a tool for the ruling class to enslave the masses. 
So basically, we, we just get 5% more stability. Which, you know, this, it could be worse. Oh, look at this. Rebuilding local government. So, after nearly half a century of war and brutal oppression by the Kuomong Teng, people's livelihoods have withered and starvation has spread across China. With the liberation of each new area, we should rebuild local government as soon as possible to consolidate the rule and let the people trust us. Oh, we get cores. Oh, that's fantastic. Absolutely. Shanghai, too. Oops, should have done the other one first, but oh well. And this one. Shang Shikai and East Turkestan. Uh, elements stay sharp, planning the war under the shadow after rebellion of the Ma's army and Mongolian affairs. We are too weak to intervene directly in the situation in Xinjiang. Luckily, we have friends in Xinjiang, Comrade Sidipin in the north, the General Ma Zongying in south. There have been a disagreement between us and a friend. The friend would have rejected our diplomatic offer to intervene in the war. Sending the tripartite non aggression pact between the CPC, Hotep, and the Xinjiang Communist Party. Unification of Hotan and the Xinjiang Communist Party Alliance. Strike first. Hmm. So, who do we have here? Hotan Kamp by Ma Ho Zongying. We kind of like each other. They hate us. Shang Shi Kai, the Brooklyn United Front. Nowhere to go. Shang Shi Kai. The Democratic Republic of Xinjiang. Democratic Republic. I'll see what that one does. So, what do we got here? Punishing and criticize. Special care. Well, we have no money. Party budget is straight down. So this is still costs us more money, so so praise. No, it doesn't cost us any money. So we can praise him, but that does nothing. Interesting. So now with this one. Um we're gonna need more political power. So as much as I want integration of industrial ministries, we definitely need this one. Right now. Hey, not bad. Death's even more manageable, even though we did raise taxes too, so. And it hurts it doesn't hurt political power too much either. And we do have a couple white tea to keep us nice and satisfied as well. So, non get back with them. Xinjiang province and East Turkestan. Ah. Interesting. Well, we're going to force reforms through no matter what and deny all of them. Political honesty, practicality, honesty. Uh, sincerely treating friends, which is a party consensus, will lead us to harvest the best friendship. Road home, 1962, Lanzhou. Despite the psychological preparation, the heavy task on Lanzhou is still beyond Li Ni's imagination. Almost all the wounded soldiers who treated retreated from the front line in Qinghai were wounded by the remnants of the Maza family and the local bandits, and most of them were just lying in the hospital beds every day, hanging under their breath by the bottles. And there were countless of those whose wounds became infected and died. She remembered the, the time when Mr. Yang was her age and remembered the bits and pieces that Mr. Yang told her about the anti-Japanese front in western Yunnan. She remembered the time when Miss Yang was her age and recalled what Miss Yang had told her about when the anti-Japanese front in Western Yunnan. Don't freeze, uh, comrade Little Li, hand me the Hermostat. Yang Ying Kai's gentle voice appropriately pulled Li Ni out of her trance and she calmed her mind, pinched up the Hermostat, and ended to, to Teacher Yang, and then looked at the deeply unconscious soldier in front of her and mentally went over to her knowledge. This is the poor man. His weathered hands were only slightly bruised, but one of his left legs was a bloody mess, and you could still see dots of white broken bone embedded in an already charred wound. She couldn't bear to look at it anymore and skimmed her head, but saw Yang Ying Kai was sterilizing the bone saw on the other side. It seemed like this left leg couldn't be saved. He was affected by a comrade stepping on an exploding anti infantry mine on the way to the march, and this is considered life. Without a leg to save his life, the one who stepped on the mine would shatter into a puddle on the spot. Even if the medical arts advanced a hundred years further, he couldn't be saved. Mr. Yang seemed to be swimming with ease, and so the energy left over to give himself a lesson, this tendon is. Surgical amputation takes extremely long. When Li Ni warily sewed up the last stitch, the two of them then looked out, let out a long breath and took off their masks. They had been soaked with sweat. Congratulations, Comrade Li Ni. How does it feel to be involved in this full surgical operation for the first time? Yang Ying Kai removed her sterilized gloves. I'm afraid it's the same as when I first met the flying tiger pilot whose leg was blown up by the Japanese. Li Ni nodded bitterly. I'm sorry. I didn't learn enough. And that's why I can never do what they do. That's a bit too much for me. Limited bonuses, huh? So is this going to explode? How's this? How, how are we supposed to react? 
do this. Sue you. Uh, what do you have up here? Aggressive, offensive. Wait, as we deny Allah, as poverty is getting worse. Uh, but you have political honesty, though. Ah, 1962, Xi'an 3. Can't we just take a break from the rules? Break whose rule? The security secretary from the Xi'an hospital glanced at him. Karma Zhu Lin, I must remind you that your class position is at risk of slipping. You need to correct it immediately. Uh, Zhu Lin took a deep breath. He had been working for almost 30 years, and this was the first time he felt why no one wanted to be associated with the right. Nonetheless, he still wanted to make a last effort. Of course, I won't shout for the rightists. I just want to emphasize that Yang Ying Kai has made a mark on the front line of the Ma family rebellion in 61 years. He's also the deputy director of surgery at the 301st Hospital and can even perform surgical operations on her own, and she's Comrade Lee Ni's teacher, I think. She is indeed a good candidate. The party secretary raised his hand. And again, the Zhu Lin cannot have time to speak. Uh, speak on. To go to Hanzong to aid the construction of no major liability accidents, physicians, after the return of each can be promoted at a level of treatment for all people, this is a meat and potatoes, but because of this, the central government has asked us to strictly pay attention to the purity and discipline of the team, will not allow the black line to interfere. Are we recruiting the Hanzong medical team based on one person's business ability or political stance? Please calm down, Kamer Lu Zim. The previous branch meeting of the A team was already decided that Yang Ying Kai will not be recruited. She won't appear on the list of the A team for Hanzong uh, medical team. I hope you can respect the opinions of other comrades as well as while categorically stating its conclusion, the party secretary took out a very large parcel from the drawer and pushed it towards Zhu Lin. It's copy of the transcript regarding Yang Ying Kai that we retrieved at your strong request, as well as the historical materials that she had signed and admitted to. Although I don't think it's necessary anymore, and if you want to see it, you can read it here. What the heck has this doctor been possessed with? Her past will be unveiled. So we got up here. Oh, so it's January 1st, thank God. So we can actually invest more money. Let's go 25 million. Nice. Still, there's quite a bit of political power every day, but we'll see what's after this. The Broken United Front, of course, the National Defense Front was a steady state of division at its inception. A disease bought, brought from the womb for two reasons, but examine in detail. Of course, I think it was from earlier, so. Stripped wings. Constrained by various objective conditions, the Soviet teachers of the Yakolov design bureau exhausted their knowledge and after the newly developed aircraft that caused several serious air accidents, resigned collectively from the party central committee, and that's the succession of uh, research work. But it's not only capable of repairing and maintaining existing aircraft, theoretical practical work has come to a standstill and jets and helicopters are an untainable luxury. With more advanced technology, what more sophisticated instruments, more outstanding talents, and more abundant funds will enable us to get out of this pool of stagnant rest scientific research. A divided nation. The front spent 15 years in relative peace, but our legitimacy is diminishing with each passing day due to a combination of deteriorating situation in the country and constant setbacks in development. People in the East are gradually forgetting us, while the people in the Northwest are beginning to question the Communist Party and socialism. The China is still our China is a topic and cannot be questioned, but Gao Zongwu's popularity is somehow catching up with the front. Time's running out, only the elimination of the pseudo regime will completely reverse our situation. You got the political power. You guys want to go to war then. Strike first. Uh, one of the following must be true. The party agrees on unification talks with the Mongolian PR. The party agrees on recognition of Mongolian independence. As long as we send volunteers, that's what I really care about. So, going to say you want. Doesn't exist. Oh. Going to Sichuan helped Liu Wenhui achieve great victory in unifying Sichuan, and now it's time for him to fulfill his revolutionary promise. Most of the reactionary leaders in Chengdu have been captured by the Zhi Kong army, and the nationalist nests in Chongqing have fled to the interior. Liu Wenhui's officials are taking the lead in taking over the localities, and the governments of the Sichuan and Zhikang will merge and reorganize in the next six months, abolishing the reaction rule of the warlords and returning a bright future to the people of Sichuan. Hopefully we can get there. We're really developing the crap out of this place. 
very, very much. No, it's really not so much. The mines are doing okay, though. Xing Xing. Oh, I keep forgetting about this guy. War time. Oh. Congress of Service versus General Ma Association. Nice. So happy. So happy guy, you know. Two point zero percent still not bad. Um, poorly trained PLA stuck in the Northwest for fifteen years. Long and seemingly endless preparations have worn down with few remaining hopes of the People's Liberation Army soldiers. Our military is experiencing crisis of faith and capability. The shortage of weapons and supplies and the thoughts of the officers and soldiers have drifted. The old soldiers never retire, nor theories of war outdated. If the action is not taken soon, the PLA may sink into oblivion, becoming no different than the bandits in the mountains. Ah. Oh, do we... Oh, we finished that one. Okay. Oh, we got the political power. It's nice. So, here we go. Once the war is launched, there's no chance to back. We must help our friends in Xinjiang to win the civil war as fast as we can, eliminate the threat of the East Turkestan movement, and Shang Shi Kai. Support Hotan. Support the Xinjiang Communist Party, secretly sending military advisors. So, could at least sabotage Shang Shi Kai's armory. Secretly sabotaging East Turkestan armory. Sending volunteer troops to assist in the battle. That's worth it. Um. Oh, so we gotta wait for this one to be removed first. That's fine. Sucks if we can't do anything else. For realties. Uh, Japanese economic blockade after the IJA tried to forcibly cross the Yellow River and failed to invade northern Shangxi in 1946. Ningji Okoruma, uh, together with the trader Yang Shishan, built a fortress blockade on the bank of the Yellow River at the Shangxi Shangxi border, completely isolating the free communication between the front and the eastern region, which caused us to no small trouble. If we're gonna walk through the deep ravines of the northwest channel, we're gonna be we're gonna die slightly, I guess. There we go. I can send oh two each, huh? Boy, do I got a group for you. From both sides here. Look at this. Um, th we're probably going to switch to this one because it still gives us development. Um, Sichuan. Seventy-two percent is actually really freaking good. Move that one for now. Happy March, everybody. Reproduction, let's look at that. Dang's faction over 11%. There you go. Oh, snap freeze, huh? Sucks. All right, so you got no one here. Could be under field marshal. Sure. Can you be under field marshal? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna focus on these guys first. Take them a little bit of time to get down there, but whatever. 
is what it is. The guy falls ill, he just he shows up and gets sick. Well, great job. Soviet experts. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, we provided shelter for some of the Soviet scientists in exile to be among the world's leading academic researchers, and now devoted themselves to the revolutionary cause of our party, so let us pray our respects to these internationalist fighters. The right away, 1944, Kunming. A strongly worded letter of resignation was handed over to Qin uh, Guanghong, the president of Kunhun, Kunhua Hospital. At the so-called self-determination of Yunnan province to cover up the provincial government spurned by the treasonous acts, and my medical staff for several years to save the front line of the anti-Japanese soldiers of the hard work will be meaningless. The provincial government's intention of peace talks with Japan has been decided, and I think there is no longer need to stay in the hospital to treat the sick and save lives, so I'm writing this letter to President Qin, or Qin. For surgeons like Yang Yinkai, who grew up in the war years, injury, illness, and death have long been a shadow. The wounded soldiers of the expeditionary army who fought and retreated along the Yunnan-Burma Highway lost their right hands, but still wanted to go back to the front line to fight against the Japanese. The poor old Bai farmers who fled from Dali with pus from gunshot wounds did not know what the infection of the wounds had already taken away their last chance of life. The flying tiger pilots whose legs were blown up at the Yunnan air stage airport howled more and more weakly until they were blown up in a hospital in the middle of a war. Howells grew weaker and weaker until he died of great blood loss. But she did not run away, not to mention fear. She could always calmly go to the operating table, could snatch a few lives away from the hands of God of Death, or calmly cover the unfortunate dead with a white cloth. But her calm and collected finally was Long Yun Hu's Lu's Han's traitorous behavior. Mercilessly shattered, the former anti Japanese efforts to do all the efforts have disappeared. Yunnan overnight became Japan's friends, only to leave her incomprehensible tears and grief. She's only 23 years old. With the age of youthful fervor, she was not willing that China's anti Japanese cause last for seven years should be so slipped into the abyss of doom. So she put down a pen and paper to write the letter of resignation, carrying their own from Dian Guang Bible College, brought the medicine box out of the door of Kun Hua Hospital, wandering in the streets of Kunming again. Where the heck am I going? Couldn't tell you. Can you do anything here? Oh, I guess not. Okay, then. It's very long and snaky. Oh, we're going this way now, huh? Well, they don't have that much. I mean, I guess you might as well. All right, we're going here. How are we losing? Is it mountains? Yeah, it is. Are they connected here? No, they're not. Could you win here? No. That's not too bad. Oh, look at this. Huh. Go figure. What an atrocity. Happy April. You gotta hold out, come on. Complain, easily in the t clean ticket gate to noon, Lee Wen is taking a meal ticket into the lunch box and a few old friends playing it, uh, a meal sitting around the place, squatting while eating and chatting. What do you think of the central government to repair this train station so far away? Take me. I have to go out every day before dawn, stomping and stomping bicycles, stomping two kilometers to the ground every day, so tired and exhausted. The central government, why do not want to build this train station to the edge of the city uh, of it, which does not give us additional traffic jams? Huh. It's kind of hard to understand. The central government also adds to our traffic. Uh, I think you do not add to the central government is to make a contribution to socialism. Dispatcher Zhao rang into his mouth a stuff pile of white rice. The central government that deployed can be far reaching. And what, seven years to build Hangzhou West, what was that, Central Departments, Arsenal's Hospitals, Schools, and so on, and all have moved over. Now to cover the station far away, expecting an old downtown, that little piece of land, all those things stuffed out. Hmm. 
Come on, bragging. I think the most to build too. The whistle sounded sound instantly sounded. The rumble of the wheels running over the tracks drowned out the words of the group of Northwest men. The crowds hastily, a few mouthfuls, and a bite haphazardly steak, a uh, clean bowl of rice, lined to the window to look at this. What is this car? The car cannot see the head. The front of the car are red, blue, or green cargo compartments lined up, but also some cargo compartments tied to the green cloth wrapped in strange sheets, shapes of large things. People in the industry could see some clues. Some bags are mostly cement red bricks wrapped in green cloth. The medium-sized things wrapped in green cloth are mostly engineering equipment such as winches, and some semi-trailer heads as well as batches of packaged containers. I wonder how many of this things is train brought to Hanzong. The young and old looked at each other, and the group squinted at Li Wang Zhang, who was lying in the window with his eyes open like a living fool. Oh my gosh, that's real. God dang it. Bro, really? How are they able to win here? I do not understand. A bunch of cheaters. That's how they want to play, and then we'll do that too. King Farouk is dead. That's nice. Ah, constructing downtown. Having offices, stability, production workshop, or production unit would be nice. Uh, growth. Oh, I gotta go with the growth. Yeah, stability. Slightly more stability. North downtown. Come on, cut him in half. That is what needs to happen. There you go. Very good. Um, we need that political power, aren't we? It's just in case. It's better. Even more growth is good, too. So with you purple guys, you're going to focus here. You, you guys. You know what? You screwed. You're also going to focus here, too. These guys aren't great. They're only eight combat with, which sucks, but still. Happy May, though. Don't think we can do anything for dang. You know what? Hold. You know, you can force the fence. I don't care what happens. What are you doing? Hold. If I say hold, god dang it, you're gonna have to hold. Or throw out of guns too, but still. Nice. Up out. There you go. Good. Economic summon, huh? A little blue water navy, why not? Dominican Civil War. And they completely abandoned the capital. Alright, that shouldn't be too difficult, right? Keep them in place. Let the horses move on in. And boom. Hotan Camp, Democratic People, Republic of Xinjiang. People from far away. This Yan Shui city government building barged into an unexpected guest. Dressed in short green sweat so clothes, lightly tied around the waist plate, plate belt, the face was sunburnt black and red, looked tight, slightly anxious. Onlookers only seemed to think he was a big cart push reporter. Unexpectedly, this man found the receptionist and said he was a messenger from the Xinkang province, and after that, he was eager to meet with our senior officer. When the staff arrived for screening work, this messenger pulled out his Southwest China Defense Front government papers, but always had a set of words for the staff's interrogation, refusing to say anything except to ask for help. I was extremely resistant during the subsequent search, refusing to hand over the letter he was carrying even after being searched, claiming that the letter could only be opened when he saw Zhu Lai. Secretary of the city of Tan Shui has submitted all the information to the central government, and the Xi'an courier temporarily stayed in the air to hear the back afterwards. Where do they, why do they come? Prayer of the Mongolian people's party. 
Um, it's something reluctant to see, but it's also something that we have no choice to do. I am PRP, a react uh, as a reactionary organization advocating ethnic separatism, anti-socialism, and revisionism, has embarked on a path that goes against the Central Committee and Chairman Mao. And if allowed to continue, it will inevitably lead to the opposition and treason against the party. The party Central Committee has made the res resolute decision to uh, thoroughly eliminate these counter-revolutionary elements and dismantle the time bombs that have been infiltrating our front. So now what? It's frickin' June and we don't have anything activated to go. So this is kind of stupid, I think. Maybe? Is it? I don't know. Road away, 1945, Lufeng. Back to the Yuan Yangjing Yang Yinkai never tells outsiders, including your mother's family. But what happened to her in Kunming? She quietly holding, held the donkey of the medicine box on her back, looking for her mother's family to ask for a shop in Luo Chuan Dam, doing business as a Western medic medicine clinic. From an outsider's point of view, the Yang family's second sister is a serious young man who's seen the world. She has received a Western style education from the Dian Guang Bible College, has been to the provincial capital as a doctor, even if she went back to Lufeng. She's still the only Western doctor in her town in three villages in Luo Chuan Dam. Some of the Miao people in the dam who had fled from Guiz Hu, a Guizhou, held her in high esteem, calling her Master Yang to her face and Little Jesus in private for a young woman who had made a wish to convert to the Lord. Such a title of respect was not enough for a young woman who had made a wish to convert to the Lord, for a young woman who had made the vow to convert to the Lord, such honorifics often made her laugh and cry. Her shop was directly across the street from the Yang family shop's Luo Chuan branch, which was owned by her second uncle. The girl was at the age of youthfulness shy, and it was not convenient to disturb the youngest sister's medical practice, so the matchmakers on the doorstep had brought gifts of meat and wine to set to the salt shop, and asked the second uncle about the youngest sister's lifelong affairs. In his spare time, the second uncle will secretly come to the backyard of Ying Ying Kai's clinic to cook for him, hold a water pipe and smoke until Ying Ying Kai finished the last patient. After the evening service to the backyard to see his own uncle, he will speak the words. My little girl, can you still get married if you believe in Christ? Letter. Dear Chairman Mao, Tibet has been separated from the central government for a long time, and the people's hearts and minds have turned against the, against the rule. So there have been repeated incidents on the Xinjiang, Xinjiang Tibet border last year. The Dalai Lama did not hide his ambition to have dominated the western frontier and used force to attack us. I was not a man without courage and was willing to spill my blood to fight, but my army was so weak that it was difficult to supply supplies and ammunition, and so I soon lost a large piece of land at the time. I knew that Shangxi was still in a very difficult situation, so I tried to contact Chengdu to ask for help from Huang Yan, but it's a stone sinking into the sea, and there's no as a reply. I don't know what this group of ghosts who put other people's lives in deaths at risk are planning in their hearts, or they're busy paying tribute to Gao Zong Wu and going to Nanking to drone to the official dome, but I didn't expect them to send troops to invade Xinjiang. I am and can't bear to see Xinjiang die my Xinjiang die in my own hands. This feeling of pain like a knife, I hope Chairman Mao can help, slightly help to save Xinjiang. Louis Henry, Chairman of the Xinjiang Provincial Government, so should we help? Liberty says, well, there we go. Uh, Mao used to say, revolutions and revolutionary wars are inevitable, without which a leap in social, social development cannot be accomplished, and the reaction ruling class cannot be overthrown. We should not only focus on the free earth, but also look at the domestic situation, the international situation, according to the changes in the situation. Get full play to people's revolutionary enthusiasm and take initi initiative to launch a revolutionary war. Mao led us for three years to get out of the woods. The enemy occupied areas, on the other hand, were in deep economic crisis and the people were in flames. This was a rare opportunity for us, and we could not let a new revolutionary climax be lost in vain. Therefore, the party central committee decided to advance to the weakest point of the Kenner Revolution to rescue Liu Wenhui, who was being besieged by the reactionary forces. There are some doubts about the war. After passing the proposal, when we declare war to Sichuan and Zhikang, we can send 500 units, infantry equipment, and two volunteer armies to the Southwest National Defense Front. Help to last. After passing the proposal, when Sichuan and Zhikang are at war, we'll join the war between the Southwest. I want to help them out. That's what I want. Oh crap. Well, maybe not. Uh, um. Well, before we do that, so only Mal's faction wants to go do it. I have no political power. And I'm the Prime Minister.
going immediately versus this side. Hey! Interesting, so... Interesting. Peaceful unification of Haltan with the Jingjiang Communist Party. With the resolution of the Jingjiang issue, we'll get through the toughest period. The annex of the Democratic Republic of Jingjiang. Jingjiang Border Region Government. Civil Rights Act, huh? Looking better already. Southwest Bureau can launch new initiatives. So 23%, 76%. Seventy six percent, twenty three percent. This is why we need political power, man. It's kind of messed down there, too. It's June deficit's pretty high. Growth is pretty good, though. Hmm. And thank God. Look at this. I'm still going to this one. There you go. You're focusing on it. Chun Ru Lee suicided or killed himself. Next time, don't be, don't born in Hong Kong. Yeah, just don't be born there. You know, simple rules. Just don't be born there. Alright, what else we got? Yeah, why not? That's worth it. Nice. So that'll be done. This'll be getting there. We have a month left until it fires. Seems kind of like a waste that it takes so long to get to that point, though. You know? Yeah, that's more recruitable population, less minimum training factor, better defense and organization, which we love. So. Hey, look at that. We got a new focus to worry about. Finally. Market in Baotou. Baotou is a necessary transportation of the border, but also the state of the business people. But in recent decades, the war blocked the commercial road, uh, which went extinct. Now that we've opened the road to Mongolia, the next step should be to revive the Bao Tu markets, encouraging merchants to trade and enrich the base of financial income. Nice. Ah, oh, yeah, we got all the stuff to do as well. Miscellaneous costs, but since this field, well, is this one? The Tianshui Armory. The committee planned to launch a Sichuan campaign in the future to liberate central Sichuan. The central committee relocated the arsenals in Qinghai, Ningxia, to Tianshui, and Gansu to ensure logistical supplies and expand the local ordnance depots and warehouses. Jiang Clothing Factory. Tianshan Mountains in Ji. Xinjiang are rich in water and grass, suitable for cotton cultivation and sheep grazing. The cotton wool production are essentially raw materials for essential raw materials for the textile industry, and be quieter weaving of clothes and hats. The expansion of the quilt factory is beneficial to both ourselves and each other. Tongguan Machine Factory. Xi'an, the first significant city occupied by the front, was economically affluent, industrially developed, and surrounded by sublime mountains and passes that were easy to defend and the closest to the mainland. Therefore, after the situation stabilized, the central government moved the scattered military factories in Shangxi to Xi'an, concentrated them, and expanded them. University of Xi'an. After listening extensively to the suggestions of the education community, the comrades in charge of the central government decided to establish a new university in Xi'an to train highly qualified personnel and integrate scientific research forces.
good. Let's try and get, increase that growth, man. Uh, local election. This is the first time we've handed over the power of a look appointing grassroots cadres to the people. Some crowds may say that this is too troublesome, and ordinary people do not understand the party's lines and policies. It could take a long time to discuss everything with them before getting any results, however. Given the current situation, we should not be too concerned about doing this. Uh, doing so allows us to hear the most direct voices of ordinary people. Ah. You know what? Just go straight in. Hey, these are a war now. Road away. Oh, look at this. Great armed conflict breaks out in China. Um, large scale conflict broke out in southern Guangxi between local Guangxi troops and Japanese Marines. Gao Wangzhu hoped that the Guangxi would immediately cease the resistance and accept the leadership of the central government. Good. Japan has had to send additional naval fleets to support the war in Guangxi, claiming that the counterinsurgency was steadily progressing, the war would be quelled in a few days. Meanwhile, hey, Yin Kin issued a statement of resistance against Yunnan to the whole country, which pointed out that Lu Han was mobilizing troops to invade Guangxi's Hozhou, and condemned Lu Han for destroying the peaceful situation, but Nanjing did not respond. There was also reports of the Sichuan troops across the Sichuan Kangzhou border. And that before the war was launched, provisional chairman Huang Yin had issued a public statement hoping that Nanking would guarantee Sichuan's internal independence, only to economic cooperation to which Nanking did not give a clear response. Uh, international comments are generally believed that the family. Oh, I can't even read this. That uh, this chaotic war in Southwest China will be the worst disruption in East Asia since the the financial crisis, and that the final outcome still needs to be further assessed. Ambitious guys. Oh, look at this. Heaven is clear, and heaven is with me. Survivors will dimly see the faint hope amidst the pale red blood. True warrior will march forward with yet more vigor. Sometimes Ying Ying Kai also wanted to. to Want to Huo Zai as heroic shout Japanese invaders and not destroy with no home for also, but the reality of the Dianzong uh, forest sea of yellow and humid will be pulled into the deepest part of the countryside again and again. Her mother's family was quite attentive to her wedding event. The light of the second uncle shifted out, shifted out of the matchmaker there of eight, and then by the mother's family later after later of screening and invitations to the banquet, and finally, finally selected a candidate to seem to be pretty good. Hmm. In the backyard of the clinic, there's a pot of charcoal heating. Fire heating water. Yang Ying Kai clutches a photo of a man in military uniform with a similar age and sitting opposite of her. Not only is there a second uncle who smokes a water pipe with a loud sound, there's also her own parents. The Zhu family counts Yu Yuan, y Yong Jing, a big family. Come to matchmaking this with the former general Zhu, Zhu Pai. The family has a cousin relationship. The family head of the two sons, the eldest dad and Taizer. Uh, Taiyo Zuhang, leaving the only son of the oldest two in the west of Dianxi to fight the Japanese when the hand is broken. The second uncle sighs, I'm afraid that if the second son marries into the Zhu family, the second son will have to suffer that he serves his family with a broken hand. Why don't we take a look at it again? The young man is nice, but his missing his hand is too inconvenient. Yang Ying Kai's father is also sad, but he's the one who fought the Japanese without a hand, not to lose his face. Otherwise, the streets that Ma family old five is also good. His father is when Luo Chuan, ta township mayor, and his side also have his care. Second uncle smoked a mouthful of cigarettes, the water pipe began gurgling up, just Ying Kai came back after the most hate when an official or listened to her opinion. Mother picked up the second uncle's words, the three pairs of eyes looked at Yang Ying Kai, but she threw the photo into the fire pot and it was silent for a long time. You can go back to Won Yonggui if you want, I'll bring in the second brother of the Zhu family here and raise him. Fierce land reform. The party's cadres, who were eager for development, could not wait to drive to Qinghai and Gongsu to take up their posts and direct the legal local people to carry out vindictive land reform work, even to the extent of disagreeing or disregarding the actual situation, which is a chaotic situation in the mass confrontation with many places. But the focus of the central government is not to correct the left-leaning mistakes, but to revive the revolutionary enthusiasm of the masses through the land reform movement. Seem to be doing alright so far. Go prison break out in northern China, huh? Home Road 1963, Pan Zi Hua. 
uh, with experience uh, going to Lanzhou and to assist in medical treatment. The Tower 301st Hospital was a relief for Li Ni. In fact, they were also relieved for themselves. For at least if Li Ni was out on medical rounds again, Zhang Qing would not send people to Nag, and Yang Ying Kai did not need to be interviewed by leaders at all levels. This time passed in such an eventful way, and soon Li Ni and Yang Ying Kai had a second chance to be sent out by lottery, this time to a Pan Zihua. Standing on the streets of uh, Pan Zihua, the two looked at each other in dismay, but for different reasons. I came to a Pan Zihua about ten years ago to find my sister. Ying Ying Kai looked left and right in bewilderment. It changed so much out of my time. This place isn't even a town, it's just a spare few houses with a main street, and now it's all become a country town. Looking at the unusual, that always calm and gentle teacher Yang also had a flustered and confused side. You now can help but perhaps and smile. Here is now more than a country town. Our People's Liberation's Army Southwest Corps is also stationed here. Listen to my father, said Panzi Hua Mine, which is a place to build up properly. Back to Yang. Mr. Yang, have you not found your sister yet? I don't have time after I came to live in Xi'an, and I don't have a doorway. Uh, Yang Ying Kai replied carelessly, It's too difficult to find a doll that doesn't know how to die in such a big northwest China. Alas, it's too difficult. Seeing that Yang Ying Kai. I was not interested in continuing the conversation. Li Ni had to change the topic, but this time she was not sure what the ripples the topic would bring to Yang Ying Kai's life. I saw something strange the other day. Yang Ying Kai still walked for huh? It's a few days ago to the hospital. The pharmacy was short of people. I looked, looked over the treasurer's two days of work, and the two batches of supposedly Tibetan medicine shipped from Gelmu. Right? I saw the transportation list. I can't read the text above, but it's not Tibetan. It looks very much like English or something. Gelmu? Gelmu? Uh, there are still users of the Latin alphabet. Wait. Memory quickly faded from the Yang Ying Kai's mind. She did not think off the top of her head. It's not some al Latin alphabet. At the same time, there are also some you can understand the pattern of the same text. You know what that, Miss Yang? That's a type of Hmong writing. And those medicines you saw were probably Hmong medicines. At the beginning of the century, there was a British missionary called Burgley to preach the, into, to the Miao in these places of Guizhou Zhao and Yunnan designed the text. I often dealt with the Miao medicine merchants when I, when I was in Yunnan. I also followed the Miao medicine merchant team to buy medicine when I lost my sister. Yang Ying Kai's brain raised as she stared, stared straight at Li Ni. Please take me to the pharmacy when you return to Xi'an. We're doing better than I thought we would. Why are we doing so well right now? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like being aggressive here and whatnot, but still. Happy September! Then Biao is doing pretty well. There you go. That's what we like to see. Death and destruction of our enemies. Chongqing will be ours. Even better. Let's keep beating them until they all die. We haven't even lost a thousand people yet. Hey, we got Chongqing. There you go. NKVD overthrows the Kazakh government. Nice. Southwest National Defense Front, too, is back. And stronger than ever. If you wonder about this guy, please go ahead. Summary of work, huh? Beijing inc incident in Swiss conflict. D Japan declares control of all of Guangxi. Oh boy. That seems pretty good to hit next, actually, than this stuff. Oh, and some of this stuff is really good, too. Oh, that's pretty good, too. You get a research lot here, too. Build a bridge. Oh, we got this one first, so. Growth by 1%. Holy shnikes. We're going to go to Sejuan next, I guess. Well, that's a long focus, 35 days. Go to Sejuan. Yep. Oh, four points, nice. Um, vocational schools? Why not? Education. 
promote land policies. Our countries have already begun to make advances in contact with the Sichuan County governments, only to suffer from a shortage of manpower in the south and to influence local governance only to a limited extent. It's good that we have another revolutionary organization that we can take on. That is the Agricultural Peasants and Workers Union, founded by Huang Ji uh, Xiang, deceased, and an old friend of a party. All members of the Peasants and Workers Union resolved that they would like to go to various places as dual party members, support the work of the Northwest. Uh, two, to transform the countryside and to realize the realization of the right of the cultivator to farm. But there are also some who totally rejected the policies of the Northwest and who had their, in their hands the propaganda materials of the KMT reactionaries, viciously, viciously attacking a party and Chairman Mao and indeed everything else. Northwest China has already regarded Sichuan as a newly liberated area, and there's no reason for us to fail in this political confrontation. Night raid, huh? At midnight, Wu Shubin confirmed that no one will come again. Then, completely out of the door, closed the stall, back to the inner room, opened the thick stack of books, and began the compl complicated work of checking the accounts. As the pen flew and sketched on the books, the corners of Wu Shubin's mouth curled up slightly. At this time, the sound of a large car passing by came from outside. He put away his pen and account book and peered towards the door. He was just about to sit down again when a sharp knock suddenly came to mind in the door. Oh, God, look at this stuff. Wu Shubin subconsciously touched the matching gun on his waist and shouted outward, Who is it? Don't you know I'm close this late? Or close this late. Outside a moment later, returned, I, Yang Liu Ching, delivery come. The uh, found out that it's his contact, Wu Shubin, relieved, but was still puzzled. So, late, what are you doing here? Another voice came from outside the door. Things have changed, Mr. Gao's new orders for you. After hearing this set of explanations, uh, Wu Shubin completely put his heart down. Release the hand holding down the gun, then remove the dark door panel, ready to let the connector in. Suddenly, Yang Liu Ching began the the rush out a few big men. Wu Shubin under the body. Chongqing Municipal Public Security Bureau Political Protection Team did not move. Only then did he realize that he had been betrayed by his contact. Wu Shubin looked at Yang Li, Liu uh, Qing with anger. The latter hour looked unconcerned, spreading his hands. My God, I'm just trying to stay alive. Wu Shubin, handcuffed to go out. To the place where to look up, actually, a car. The car is escorted by four colleagues. There was also a soldier with a live gun standing around. So it turned out that the car of the previous car came from here. Being escorted to the car, Wu Shubin is more than you think of the, than angry. Suddenly, do not know how, Wu Shubin opened the handcuffs of the police next to the shot, jumped out of the car not far away from the Yang Liu Qing, another shot to the safety of his place to run. When to run, the soldiers on the side were about to shoot. The police leading the group called out, Zhang the top wants to live. Bang, bang, the two shots passed. Zhang hit Wu Shubin's left leg. Wu Shubin fell to the ground immediately. A group of policemen immediately rushed up and held him down to death and urgently sent the injured to the hospital. Take back, then under strict guard. So, storm in the north, the conspiracy of the West has been eliminated. It's time to develop and start rectifying the fragile economy and research, okay, research and chaos in the base area. Supplies we have uh, are now none. More food, lovey, huh? Why would we choose this one? We can do this one. It costs us political power. When something you lose five for sensibility, you get worse political power. Open marks in bow two. That's pretty good, too. Carry out the cooperative pilots. Increase in cost, but agriculture improves. Additional funding for the Research Institute. Prioritize the development of military industry. Encourage young students to go to the countryside. Dig canal and build gap. Yeah, free infrastructure is pretty good. Hey, this Hitler. Import Soviet weapons, huh? China, Mongolia, joint military exercise. We need a lot of stuff here. Unified integration of Xinjiang. Free zone. Are they not under us? No, that would be really helpful if they were. Going to stage one. Dredge the cities. Establish a market. Uh, with the blockade of the lower reaches of the Yangtze River, Sichuan merchants can no longer go to the lower reaches of the business, which causes their confidence of business to suffer a serious blow. Couple of the paths, Northwest hardline approach to industrial and commercial transformation, so they had to shut down or flee with the money. The reduction of supplies caused many local prices to soar, and thus the use of the army to force open the doors of the stores is no longer effective. In order to further uh, the loss of wealth, uh, we should slowly establish a corridor for goods between Shangxi and Sichuan, and open up trade between the two places so as to save us the market and take what we need. Nice. Military advisors. Oh. Southwest Bureau now focus on balance. It's not bad. The art of policy. 
Historical experience proves that policy and strategy are the lifeline of the party and the cornerstone of the revolutionary cause, who insists on formulating policies and strategies from the practical point of view. Seeking truth from facts and making timely adjustments in accordance with changes in the situation and tasks, ensure that the revolutionary cause is carried forward in a rigorous and upright manner is a rule that cannot be broken. We'll get educated in politics. God, that is destroying our political power, isn't it? Not. My God. Coming to Southwest China, Southwest Bureau. Uh, the Southwest Bureau is a local bureau of the CPC station in Zhikang, which is mainly responsible for unifying the war against the old KMT warlords in Zhikang and guiding the development of industry and agriculture in Zhikang. The first secretary of the Southwest Bureau was Comrade Li Fuchun, and the second secretary was Comrade Han Jiaochu, PLA Southwest Corps. The Southwest Corps station in the area of Chuangkang is important due to being responsible for the security of the southern defense of the National Defense Front as president. The commander of the Corps is Comrade Han Jiaochu, and the political commissar is Comrade Li Fuchun. Uh, the road home, 1963, Chongqing. From Zhikong back to Xi'an, but a month or so, even before waiting for the shipment of Golden Mood and her expected letter of reply, Yang Yi Kao was urgently transferred to the Chongqing to assist in the post-war medical care. This time, Li Ni did not go with Yang Yi, Yang Yi Kai to Chongqing is not purely to assist in the medical care. At the time of the anti-Japanese resistance in Western Yunnan, let Yang Yi Kai have the basic preparation and prevention of poisons. She was asked to assist the reorganized Southwest Agricultural College in preventing epidemics and mitigating disasters. Hey look, power is better. In the experimental field of the College of Our Agriculture, a young researcher was taking Yang Kai to introduce experimental seeds of the College of Ar Agriculture. The few acres of the responsibility of the young faculty member of the college, Comrade Yuan Longping. And the yield camp can be 40% higher than the general rice field. It's a current generation that has poor resistance to drug and toxins. Yang Kai nodded, antitoxicity and drug resistance is something of genetics. Can this kind of rice resist general pesticides? Neither can it. After sprinkling pesticides, the fall rate is more than half. We're not proven in this area. I've heard that our side of Chongqing has recently seen more enemy and counterfeit activities. Right. I heard from the comrades in Jian that you, Mr. Yang, participated in the Western Yunnan anti-Japanese war and understand the relevant knowledge of biochemistry. In this town, we invited you to come here mainly to train your comrades here in the principles of basic biological warfare and precautionary measures. The enemy in the pseudo pseudo have circled every day in the past few days. As estimated, that the next step is to spread leaflets to confuse people or even spread the poisonous gas and bacterial mutilation of the base area. Understood. I'll give you all my knowledge. Suspect-related reports. Sichuan Provincial Public Security Department. In this operation, the Bureau successfully destroyed the Chongqing Secret Agent Network and captured the main figure Wu Shubin, formerly known as Chen Shaozong. Wu Shubin was his wife's name. But he joined the pseudo-Republican NSB National Security Bureau's Chongqing contact person, Yang Liu Qing, formerly known as Tiao Yiming, in advance and captured the main figure Wu Shubin, formerly known as Chen Shaozong. Wu Shubin was his wife's name. Formerly known as Chen Xiaozong, Wu Xubin was his wife's name. Again. And again. Tiao Yi Ming was arrested by the Bureau only after he was found and reported by the villagers around the area when part of the acid leaked out of the pool of acid that was used to kill a traitor of the party, who was mistakenly thought to be a high ranking comrade of the Southwest Bureau last month. According to his account, it was easy to detect the use of radio in Chongqing, intelligence was passed on through contact persons, and it was only after this council succeeded in destroying the Secret Service system in Chongqing by following the clues. Uh, Chen Xiaozong, who was in charge of the various operations of the NSA in Chongqing, owned a tea house in Xiaopingba called A Immortal's House. The tea house was the most prosperous in the area due to the fact that it received subsidies from the Secret Service and was well funded. Because it agreed to pay on credit, it had a very good reputation and it was easy to very, very easy to collect all kinds of information. Contacts would bring supplies and instructions to Chen Xiaozong in the form of deliveries and meal tickets, and Chen would pass on the information in the form of money. Chen Xiaozong was originally a student of Lin Li Special Training Course and had been working under Dai's junta since graduation, but after Dai committed suicide because of the assassination of Chiang, the junta was on the verge of collapse and Chen was kicked out of the junta and then defected to the Gao pseudo government. And then working in the Chongqing area since long before the liberation of Sichuan, we've already begun interrogations. Uh, Hu Jiliang, head of the Chongqing Public Security Bureau's Political Security Brigade. The intelligence is sufficient and useful, but I think I'll probably end it there for now. Um, we're doing all right. The economy is getting slowly better, and we're doing dredge cities, and it will establish a market and help uh, make sure poverty gets any better. Ah, screw it. We're going to need to promote land policies, too. There is one. I can't remember. Our cadres have already begun to make advanced contact with the Sichuan County governments. Only suffered from a shortage of manpower in the south and influence local governance, only to a limited extent. It's good that we have another revolutionary organization that we can take on. That is the Agricultural and Peasants and Workers Union, founded by the Huang Jiang. See, I did agree this earlier. In our friend of the party, all members of the Peasants and Workers Union resolved that they would like to go to various places as dual party members to support the work of the Northwest, transfer the countryside, and re realize the realization of the right of the cultivator to farm. There's also some who totally rejected the policies of the Northwest, 
Loon had in their hands a propaganda material the KMT reactionaries, viciously attacking a party in Chairman Mao and indeed everything else. Northwest China is regarded as Sichuan as a newly liberated area, and there is no reason for us to fail in this political confrontation. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we'll make this part of China even better than what it originally was. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.